the frequency of the mosquito unit makes the most of age-related hearing loss. You usually have to be under 25 to hear the high frequencies given off by the device. In fact, it's too high for our equipment to rebroadcast. But if we lower the frequency, then everyone should be able to hear the tone. It gives me a headache and it can make me feel sick if I'm there for too long. If somebody's causing trouble in a particular area, they will just be causing trouble 25 metres down the road. And I think it's absolutely ridiculous that they're just targeting young people. They're part of a national campaign to have the units switched off. But here at the local shops, they think the mosquito has been useful. I think when it first went in, they sort of realised it was there and stayed away because it did annoy them, but they, they find ways around things, same with anything. And this is the sort of antisocial behaviour which the mosquitoes aim to combat. The makers maintain they don't harm health and are on for a maximum of 20 minutes. If there's a group there that are standing outside the shop, wearing hoodies, drinking, smoking, swearing, you know, having a go at customers coming in, asking them to buy fags and alcohol, then, you know, what the, the, the shop owner is within his rights, really, to try and move them on. But in Corby, at least, the council has agreed to switch the devices off and is putting money into sport and youth clubs. Alison Holt, BBC News, Corby. Well, now, the uh, Association of Convenience Stores has written to the Children's Commissioner calling for a balanced approach to the use of mosquitoes. Uh, let's talk now to the Association's Chief Executive, James Lohman. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Um, let, let's just take one of the arguments against these mosquitoes, that uh, they demonise young children. What do you say to that? Well, I, don't, I don't think our members demonise young children. They're very important customers in convenience stores. Uh, play a very important uh, role, part of the part of the customer mix. So that's certainly not the intention. I think as, as partly came through in the uh, recording there, um, mosquito will be used uh, after people have been asked to move on, um, if they're if they're causing particular problems. And so this, this idea has been used indiscriminately just isn't true. It's been used in very specific circumstances when other methods haven't haven't worked. And I think the retailer has to have some options to protect other customers, protect the, the people working in the store. Uh, where there are problems taking place around the store. Well, you say they, they, uh, you say they're not indiscriminate, but I mean, if you've got, say, a bunch of children in a shop and some are causing trouble, but the others aren't, then surely it is indiscriminate. Well, within, within a very short time period, uh, and where those individuals have been have been been asked to leave the area because they're causing problems for other people, you know, they're, they're they're intimidating other customers, uh, the staff, or whatever it might be. So, you know, you're right, it is a relatively blunt instrument in that you can't target individuals through it, mm. but that would, it would only be used after other much more targeted methods like speaking to the people, uh, in, in some cases like including calling the police, Not all, the police don't always turn up of course, it's in not quickly. After all other measures have been tried, it's, it's another thing the retailer needs to try to say, protect other customers and protect staff. But the, the Children's Commissioner's point is that this discriminates against young people in the way that if you discriminated in the same way as a particular racial group or religious group or the elderly for example, there'd be hell to pay. Yeah, and it's also, also true that there aren't generally um, uh, problems caused around stores by people of one religious group, racial group, whatever it might be. It's uh, the, the, the problems around stores are often caused by groups of young people. It's not exclusively, there are other problems caused by other groups, but primarily that is, the, the, those are the problems, the antisocial behaviour it is linked to those people. Now, that's not to say that, therefore, they should immediately be, be subject to, to mosquito or one particular type of intervention, but you cannot expect the retailer to just sit there and expect uh, and, and, and accept uh, the, the, this sort of antisocial behaviour going on around the store without taking some action. If the various forms of intervention, talking to the, to the people involved, uh, it, 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 explaining to them uh, punishments that can, can take place if, if they're caught shoplifting, whatever it might be, if all those sorts of things don't work, the retailer has to be able to use all the tools at their disposal to deal with that problem on behalf of their customers, on behalf of their staff. Okay, James Lohman from the Association of Convenience Stores. Very good to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Well, we've had